sounds melting in the sun While our skin burns And I wonder what we'll bring And I wonder where we will go Sin blows where I go It was so funny to kind of use um that perspective of a mouse having to flee um the earth because the earth is literally dying and burning unfortunately so that was very interesting to see and i really liked how um adorable it was i really liked the animation style and i really liked the color palette throughout the entire um piece um, I also really liked the visuals, um, how they were kind of all just smiling through it, like the little scene with the animals all smiling through it as the background, just kind of like the flames come in behind them. I thought that was really cool. Um, also, just the fact that um, I feel like the mouse also just represents how humans are kind of handling the whole thing and how instead of really trying to solve it, we're kind of just trying to flee to the next available planet, potentially. So I thought that was funny as well. The song itself was really highly produced it sounded like i was listening to a really good song it's going to be stuck in my head later um but it really did feel like a music video it was entertaining in that sense but it was also really effective in educating the audience about climate change and giving rise to some emotions regarding um, immediate climate repercussions um, there were a couple lyrics that really stood out to me. In the very first verse, there was a lyric that said, there's sand where the garden used to be. Um, I thought that that was really intriguing coming from the perspective of a child, I was just talking about kind of the immediacy of climate change and um, the fallout of climate change that we are seeing in our, in our world today. Um, the animations were... Um, showing fires and kind of chaos in what was formerly this really idyllic forest setting. Um, and once again, it's just amplified that uh, these are all being noticed by a child. Um, same thing, do we ever listen at all? I felt like that was also a really powerful lyric from the perspective of a child kind of asking the adults in the situation. Um, and it is the child in this story, which we eventually realized was a dream, but it is a child in this story who is um, having to leave and to find a new utopian paradise where he can survive, um, being that the conditions on his home planet are uh, no longer suitable. Uh, technically, I thought the animation was really fun, really funky, really bright colors. I, as an audience member, was really captivated again by those colors when the rocket ship was launching and into the guitar solo. It has depictions of retroness and nostalgia. It's really fun and um, a bright piece despite the darkness of the uh, underlying message of this piece. Um, you know, the, the animation is cute. Uh, and it's colorful, and we get to see these uh, abstract moments between time and space. We see uh, inspiration of David Bowie, um, and it's really smooth. It's really fun, and I really like that they added uh, the resources in the end as if it didn't get their message across um, within the visuals, which I think they definitely executed, uh, pointing out the issues that we have with climate change. Um, they did uh, provide resources on how to be better and uh, where to go to find more information when it comes to it. So I think it really, it, by doing that, it really hits home uh, for us to know, okay, this is the message that they're sending us. It all felt very quirky and weird, but with a powerful environmental message behind it, hidden within all of the strange animations and morphing and lyrics. There is a message behind all of it, which I thought was cool. Um, I love the Ziggy Stardust references, the spiders on Mars. I loved how everything from the lyrics is animated in this film. Um, it was very creative. I liked that it was from, it, it felt as if the song was from the mouse's perspective, the animals of the world's perspective, you know, where are they going to go? Um, but yeah, I enjoyed this a lot. It, it visually was very stunning and fun to watch. And um, 
I loved the imagination behind it and the out of the box thinking with the music and with the animation here. It's a very interesting concept. And I also loved how trippy a lot of the animation was. It had a very pseudo psychedelic feeling to it. Um, kind of like what you would see in like seventies animation. Um, and I, I very much see the possibility of that aspect. Um, but I think one of the things we always have to consider is the risk of essentially just repeating the same mistakes that we made on this planet on another planet. Um, but hopefully if we ever get to that point where we can travel, um, we've reached a point where we are able to learn from our mistakes. I think it's a lot of hope for taking care of our community, taking care of the earth, um, you know, so we don't have to go to another planet. Um, I think this was done really well. I think, um, you know, dialogue wise, uh, it was really well done. I think the transitions were easy. I think this is really digestible. Um, this is a really digestible piece with a larger message, which is really important because that means you can spread it to so many more people um, and and expand your audience, uh, which is really important with some, something as, uh, you know, large as this. So overall, just a very delightful piece. Um, I liked the lyrics. It was just you know, sad about leaving one planet to go to another because of what we've done to the other planet and hoping we don't do this to the next. Um, will we repeat history? I liked the line something about spiders being on Mars. Um, the music had kind of a 70s, maybe Pink Floyd, just 70s music feel. It kind of felt, you know, like a little psychedelic trip in a way because of the animation and the feel of the music and... Um, I liked the little characters, the, the, mo the mother mouse and the little baby mouse, not the baby, but the, the child mouse going off to explore this other planet. It was sad, um, like they would never see each other again, saying goodbye. The mouse on the treadmill and then lifting weights was cute. Um, anyway, I thought it was just a really cute way to express this um, message. I think that it's a style of music it's a style of rhythm that isn't really common these days um and so i think that in that in itself is very attention grabbing i loved the animation i thought it was really cute i liked that they made it about the animals and not about humans i really enjoyed that actually um but I also loved how colorful it was. It wasn't, the the message behind it is very, I won't say bleak, but not super positive. Um, the situation itself is not positive. Um, but the artwork and the visuals that we were getting were very, very colorful and very, very eye-catching, which I really liked. Um, I thought that was a really... I thought that was it really worked. I thought that was a good, uh, good move. Um, and then it just flowed so well with the music and everything obviously worked really well together. Um, but the underlying message behind not just what you were seeing that was animated, but also the song, I think, is very important, needs to be talked about, needs to be said.